Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deborah. I love organising, but I also love upcycling furniture, I love making things. If you've been following me on my channel, I'm always up to something. And this is our latest project, the workshop, which is finally finished. So today I'm really excited to share the build with you, but also a tour of the workshop. Firstly, here is a shot of Emily doing an Easter egg hunt in the garden last year, which shows our old setup in the garden with the two sheds and the vegetable patch. The sheds were at the end of their lives really, they were falling apart and we really wanted a change. The first step was to dismantle and remove the old sheds. We kept one shed for a few weeks in the middle of the garden whilst we worked on the build. Once we'd moved everything, we took stock of the site and we cleared it. This was when we sort of realised what a big job we had on our hands. Next we dug a trench from the house to the workshop. This was for the electric cable. This was a lot of work, clearing the grass and digging the trench to the regulation depth for the armoured cable. Next we started clearing the site. So we moved tons of turf, gravel and soil. We also needed to decide what to do with the veg patch. It was a really sad day when I dug up the veg patch, but I may have a vegetable patch in the future. The next job was to tidy up and paint all the fences. I used my new paint sprayer and I did two coats of the Cupronol Urban Slate and I just really love the effect. We put down a weed control membrane to hopefully control the weeds in the future. We spread a ton of hardcore on the base and Brian used a whacker plate to whack the surface. We ended up doing this twice to bring up the level, so we spread another ton of the aggregate onto the base to make a really solid base, which he also then used the whacker plate to whack down. In the meantime, I continued painting all the fences to get everything painted the same and looking tidy until we were ready for the base to be installed. We had a contractor come in and create the wooden base um, for the workshop. Just felt that this was really important because it was going to be pretty impossible to get the solid base perfectly level, which was what we needed to do to make sure that the workshop um, was going to be as permanent as possible and it wasn't going to sink. We also had contractors come in and build the workshop. I actually left them to it and I didn't take any footage at the time. It probably wouldn't have been particularly appropriate to do so, plus um, I was working, so I let them get on with it. And actually it was installed fairly quickly in one day. After that, um, this is actually a shot of when my son helped me to paint the workshop, So, but I decided not to use a colour. I used a clear sealant um, and did two coats. The next job was to insulate the workshop. We used this foil backed insulation on a roll which I got from Screwfix and it was stapled to the supports and the beams. Then we clad the inside of the workshop with 5mm plywood. This was a really big job but it was worth it because it gives a really clean surface that's really easy to 
sweep and really easy to keep clean of dust. Next we wanted to build the workbench and as we couldn't sell the dresser from the sitting room we decided to use the base in the workshop. We bought a piece of beach worktop and fixed it to the top of the dresser base. The area to the right side um, of the workshop uh, is what we're using for garden stuff so we made this partition wall to keep everything separate. We started moving everything into the workshop and Brian made a pegboard to hang up lots of the tools. The old dresser base houses all the power tools and the space next to the workbench houses our new workshop vacuum cleaner. In the drawers we've got lots of things handy and we've separated things out into boxes as much as we can so things are now much easier to find. We also use some large brackets on the wall um, which we've hung up so that we can put the large pieces of timber on there. We've still got some kids toys in here but the plan is to move these out and actually have another bench here. This week we had the electrics fitted. We've got LED strip lights and I purposely had the electrics surface mounted so it's going to be easy to add additional sockets if I need them in the future and to stop me from accidentally drilling through any of the electric wires. On the side where the gardening stuff is, we are decluttering all the time. I just want to reduce it down to the things that we really need. On the back of the partition wall, we've organized all the gardening tools so everything has its place and can be kept tidy. So this is the final shot of the workshop, here is the before and now the after with the workshop complete. Thank you for watching, I have really enjoyed seeing this project through, having this workshop finished because it's just going to make such a difference. I won't have to keep working on the kitchen floor, trying to make do with power tools. I've got a proper space that I can go and make a mess and make dust and really enjoy the space and be creative. I'm looking forward to doing lots of projects in this space and look forward to sharing them with you soon. Bye.